It's a nice, beautiful Friday morning, and we're gonna be harvesting some green beans and the first two zucchinis out of the garden. So we got two of them that are ready to go. I got up this morning and pollinated uh, two other ones that are ready. And I took the, the, the male flowers and pollinated the female flowers. I like that tactic or that uh, method, especially if I don't have too many bees around to pollinate for me, so I do it myself. And uh, let's just jump into harvesting the first two zucchini. So here are the first, here's the first one. It's a nice size one. We want to take that one as well as we want to take this one. So I pulled these leaves back. As you can see it right there. All I do is I take this right down here and cut right at that base. That's a nice size one. That's a good one. And then the other one's on the back side here. And there we go. So right there, we have the first two zucchini of the year, and they look really nice. The next thing we have is a bunch of green beans. And I mean, there are so many of them. In fact, there's so many, they're pulling down my plants. Look at this. See, all the, the, the bushes themselves are falling over because the, the beans weigh so much now. So what we want to do is we want to harvest these. And I'm only going for the big ones. Like, I don't want to pull ones that are too small, but these are like just the right size. They're nice and, I mean, these are good green bean sizes. So I want to take off all the ones that are proper size. I want to wait a little bit longer, but like, look at these. That is like just right. This plant, this individual bush itself did really well this year. This was kind of the what I was going for originally, originally at the season with all the the bushes I planted, I'm trying to get a large harvest of green beans. We eat a lot of green beans and, and rice and uh, um, steak with it. So it's a nice, it is a nice vegetable to be having. There's one or two here. There's one right there. I'm like, you know what, I wanna pull that one. It's smaller, but it's nice and thick. I go based upon length and thickness. But I don't want them going too long. Like that's a great one right there. That's a real nice one. Oh, look at that one. Didn't even see that one earlier. And I'm sure because I got them all close together and everything, I'll miss a few here and there. But as long as I'm getting the majority, I feel a lot better about it. So we have another section to harvest as well that have about four bushes in them. And then we have fresh, two new bushes growing near the zucchini as well. And we got two more trying to grow in front of the cucumbers but they're not, they're not doing as hot so we're gonna just see how these go we got other stuff come in which i'll show you in a moment but we want to pull these uh green beans here look, look look they may have gone a little too long look at that that is real nice you like to see that look at that the hardest part is because of all these because the bush itself got so many leaves on it, it's hard to see some of them I know there's more in here. I know there's a lot more in here we haven't pulled yet. All right, look at those. Oh, that's a nice one. Any more? Oh, that's a good one. I want to pull that one. I mean, that's a pretty good haul. So you see that? Look at that coloration. Real pretty. Oh, this one's definitely ready. These might need a little bit longer to go. I don't know if I want to pull them yet. I might wait till they get a little bit bigger first. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, probably eight, nine, ten. Then we'll have a bunch more up here. But I did this trellis system where I had it coming out of a um out of a tomato shoot and then onto this trellis, this uh this growth wall for it, and I just keep attaching it and see how it runs into the side. Look at that, it wraps around. So that's what we're going for. On In the middle of it, as you can see sprouting here, is all these cucumbers. Look at all those cucumbers there. You can see a, the cucumbers are coming in and the vines are getting big and I want them to grow. You can see a little cucumber coming in there. And then, oh, look down there, tomatoes. We got tomatoes on this big tomato bush right here. Nice tomato bush. And I trim out the bottoms to make sure they get real nice and tall. I pinch off the leaves at the bottom, but look at that. 
We got tomatoes coming in here. We got a bunch coming in here. We got some coming in there. More there. These are struggling a little bit. Um, see, got, got to pinch off that base here. Pinch off that one because that one's not doing well. But like these are not coming up as as well as I want them to. I want them to get some height on them. So I'm gonna have to work with them. I'm not as good with tomatoes as I like to be. So that's really the garden update so far. So I'd say we did a, we had a pretty good harvest. We got a bunch of green beans and two nice sized zucchinis. And again, most of this is growing just for my wife and I. For two people, this is plenty of fruit of food. Can't complain. Everything's growing well. Got some weeding left to do, and hopefully we can do another round of harvest here in a week. Well, that'll wrap it up for a nice little light garden update. Catch you guys in the next update. See ya. Well, it's official. The worst has happened. I knew it was gonna be inevitable at some point. The garden has been destroyed. The deer have finally won with all my best efforts, without putting up fence, shooing them away, you know, everything else you could think to try to keep deer at bay. It did not happen the way I wanted. And this is where we're at now. I lost all my cucumbers. You can even see where they started to eat. Like they just destroyed it. There's no, there's no leaves left on the vines, nothing. And it even gets worse with the tomatoes. I mean, everything's gone. Everything's gone. They successfully have just torn everything apart. I mean, the tomatoes are trying to make a comeback, but I got little to zero hope. The only thing they seem to have not touched as far as I can tell, are the uh, jalapeno peppers. You can see a lot more coming in, especially on this one right here. I've pulled off five or six jalapenos so far, but they are doing great. But I mean, just the destruction of these plants. I mean, my cucumbers here are just, they're dead. You can just see where the deer just chomping away at them, eating everything up. absolutely obliterated my zucchini everything everything's gone almost an entire bed the zucchini's gone completely just nothing left it's a sad day the raised beds have now bit in the dust except for uh, some basil so uh, basil and uh, parsley my jalapenos is I had a half barrel here with just all of our lettuce and uh, it was a mixed greens lettuce half barrel and it was flourishing but they have chewed it down even dug some out to zero just absolutely nothing left this half barrel was about this high all with lettuce the whole way surrounding it I mean there was spots it was completely filled and the deer just wiped it all out this is my first year finding out how dangerous uh deer can be to a garden the pitfalls i've come across never experienced I've, this is the largest garden i've done to date and it was thriving and being pretty successful for a while but went out of town for a few weekends for weddings and other events and i come back and everything's gone you know it is what it is but we got a new garden going in not right now and not in this location got things in the works i'm very excited to share it with you guys so stay tuned because uh we got stuff big coming catch you guys in the next one see ya